I want to talk about the odd times. It's mid-May. I'm sitting on the balcony. It's raining and snowing outside. I can see blue sky there. I can see really, really dark clouds there. The world is strange. Remember back in 2016 when we said it was the worst year ever with so many uh, celebrities, musicians and famous people dying. And just this past week, you know, we saw Roy from Siegfried and Roy, a uh, magician group, which I don't think is very big in Sweden. I mean, you've probably heard the name. In, in the US, you know, it's, they're well known. And then uh, on the same day, we heard that little Richard had passed away. And you start to get into this odd mood about mortality and the way of life because I started thinking like, so who were big in like the 60s or the 70s or even the 80s? And, you know, if you were, then your time, whether it be through this virus or not, uh, is probably coming to an end. And it's, it's I know it's, it's, it's kind of depressing to think about that, you know. Obviously, I would want, for myself, one, to have a long life, a healthy life, and, you know, both healthy in my body, but also, like, up here, you know, that I know who I am, uh, hopefully many years from now. And you start to contemplate whenever someone that you have some form of relationship to, not, not to the person, but who, to who the person was, you start to think about your own mortality and you you have this feeling of of sadness but also it's like yes if you are 87 90 years old you probably lived a long and hopefully healthy life and hopefully you accomplished a lot of things because i think what this pandemic has really shown is that uh, for those people who have been locked up in their homes and feel like their freedom's been taken away from them Many of them have probably felt that life is boring right now. And I guess as the snow <laughs> increases, more snow now than rain, I guess that at the end of the day, you know, every day that goes, you get a little older. You know, it's like what Meatloaf sang, we'll never be as young as we are right now. And really trying to make the best of every day regardless of what the situation is and not just let it go to waste you know almost like being being accountable every night for making the best of that day N not that you have the pressure that you have to make every day like amazing but just like feeling that you're not wasting it I mean if I if I feel like I have nothing to do I'm bored do some I'll do something boring I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll do the dishes by hand or I'll clean the oven or something because that gives me a sense of accomplishment when the um, uh, the settings for that day were great. So that feeling of, oh, I just spent three weeks doing a pretty much absolutely nothing, maybe not a good thing. I was watching my friend Daniela's uh, Instagram story today and that's and that was one of those things where you, you saw that she had made changes in her life. You know, there was a before and an after picture. And then she like, I focused, uh, um, you know, gotten shit together. And it's really cool to see that. Okay, I have to show you what it looks like outside. So yeah, this feels like one of those days that maybe you should just stay inside, listen to good music or a podcast, lay some puzzles, read a book, and just like, okay, I'm gonna have some me time. Life goes ever on and life finds a way. Good talk.